All right, guys, today we are going to do a carburetor on a still BG86 blower. Any of the parts that I use in this will be in the description below. Um, it comes in a kit. Everything you need. Fuel line, a couple of grommets. Some, oh, that's red grease. Ah! Primer ball, carburetor, fuel filter, spark plug, whoop. air filter, looks like another primer ball, gasket. Um, here's another gasket here. Bam. All right. Everything you'll need be in the kit. Super cheap on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. Just click it and it'll take you right there. All right. Let's get right to it. First thing we're going to do is take the air filter cover off. Remove the air filter. All right. There is two 10 millimeter or no 10 millimeter, eight millimeter nuts. Um, actually, you know what? Forget that. We're going to take this cover off so we can see everything. Uh, T27, there's three bolts. Torque 27. I use a still tool. Um, you can get these on Amazon as well. It's got the uh, spark plug socket, T27. The one I list actually has uh, the, uh, you know, the three-quarter spark plug socket and then the, the 916 spark plug socket on the end of it. Uh, I'm not sure if this one is the smaller but some of these stills have a smaller, yeah, this is a smaller spark plug. So the one I list will have this, you know, your spark plug socket and everything on it. But uh, T27, there's one, uh, where does the second one go? There's one, two, and there's a third one. Oh, the third one was here. All right, they're up here, right here. All right. All right, and then you just pull this recoil out. Now you got plenty of room to do all your crap. All right, eight millimeter. Take those two out. handle all this to be this one right here pull the air filter assembly off um, then uh, let's see here we're gonna have to because this throttle arm's got to come out and we got to disconnect it um, it's gonna be t27 there and there take those two out you got this one and this one. Take those two out. And we're going to go straight up. This out of the way. Straight up with this. Like that. Alright. I'm just going to be gentle not to just pull anything out. So we're going to hold this in place. And then lift this arm up. Just like that. Boom. Arm is off. See that? Alright. This should come right on out. Oh, look. The arm just fell off. This hooks in like that on the throttle. I'll show you that. Um, take the fuel lines off. There's this one and there's one in the back here. Grab them and pull them off. All right, so I just cut the lines off because I'm replacing them anyways. We're going to blow all this off with uh, an air hose. You can use carb cleaner or brake cleaner if you want. All right, so now we're going to take a flathead screwdriver, get it up underneath this tab, and even steady pressure. If you put too much pressure on it, You'll break that tab, you know, too much pressure right away. So even steady pressure on it. Oh, it's kind of a pain in the ass. And we're going to, oh, look, there we go. We can get up underneath it here. Even steady pressure. I need both hands because I got I to gotta hold this thing down too. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's kind of going. Even steady pressure. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's easier with two hands, but you see I'm kind of getting it up. And now I just need a second hand to hold this thing down at the same time. It just pops right out. There we go. Let me get, pull this out. Okay, that does not want to go through that for some reason. Oh, there it goes. Fuel filter should fit right through this whole grommet thing here. Where's my needle nose, huh? Grab this, pop it in on out of there, boom. All right, drain the tank, get all the fucking old gas out of there. You don't want to put a new carb fuel line, so you put old gas through it. Drain it all out, you're going to do brand new gas on this. Then we're going to remove all the old hose off of it. 
for this hose. I just did, they didn't come in the kit. So I just did a good solid inspection of it. And there's no cracks. It's still nice. It's not too soft. It's still nice and rubbery. Um, seems to be fine. So I'm going to reuse it. Um, but if you had to, I mean, you would just take the fuel line and shove it right on this nipple. But this is a very big nipple for this little, little fuel line. Um, it would be hard to get it on there. Um, they do make a bigger fuel line, and I do have some in my drawer, but this one looks great, so I'm just going to go back with this. That's probably why they sent just the fuel line that they did, because these probably don't ever go bad. So I'm going to put this right back onto this. All right, and then uh, if you look, you can see that this is on this side. So this is the intake fuel line. We're going to put a piece of fuel line on it. Since we don't know the length of the fuel line, we're just going to connect the other side to the other side. Just so I don't forget which side is which, the, the filter side I marked with a little bit of magic marker. All right, then we're going to go ahead and put the fuel filter, a brand new fuel filter on the other end of this line. We're going to go ahead and shove the filter back through the grommet. Get this all back in there it's all lined up sorry to where that tab is right back in the spot and you just push it down nice firm until it pops into place Boom. just like that now I got this marked that's my filter side, my non-filter side. All right, new carburetor. So on this carburetor, the nipple closest to the fuel pump is always the one that goes to the fuel filter. This is the fuel pump side. So this one goes to the fuel filter. And then this one over here is the return line. It goes back into the tank. So the brass one goes to this one right here. It's pointing this way. So we're going to go ahead, just slide this into place so we can get an idea of how long we want to cut this fuel line. Something like that. And we're going to cut it off. Short one is the. Uh, fuel filter line that goes in the bottom nipple and then we'll leave the long one long goes up in the top actually we can cut that to size too we'll just cut that to size and that'll be done i'm gonna get the throttle cable in there first and get all that put together um so we're gonna put the arm right in this nipple or in this hole like that just like that okay that's your throttle hookup we're gonna hold it in place and then slide it back onto you know where it belongs make sure you've got a gasket between the carburetor and the engine it is going to be where's the other gas i left the old one on there but uh oh it's going to be this gasket right here this this little hole is the vacuum line hole and that's what runs the fuel pump that's built into the car and then we're going to go ahead and stab the throttle arm back into that make sure all this is pushed down then we're going to go ahead and put this arm this handle side i mean back on kind of line it all up i should just set right down into it no problem um there's going to be a little spring to it because there's actually a spring in here so just make sure you get all that. It's going to be the uh, four core screws that are kind of the roundish heads. So go ahead and uh, start all of them. Two, three, four. And then we're going to tighten all of them down. So we got the handle all on. If you hold this and pull the throttle you'll see that it throttles up but it's sticking oh there we go and 
throttles. All right, so we're going to put this fuel line to this side right here. That's the return. Connect the fuel line that's connected to the filter to this one here. Let's see if we can get a little light on this situation. Just like that. All right. And then we're going to put the air filter assembly on. Stabs right through two, two eight millimeter nuts. All right, so we're going to put this recoil cover right back on there, nice and tight. And you got the three, three screws to knock, oh, hold that on. Air filter, air filter cover, a little gas in it, and we're going to prime it up. Make sure it's priming. Screw it in there. Um, if it isn't priming, then you may have the lines hooked up backwards. But it's priming, so we're good. Sounds like it needs to be uh, used a little bit to get her to, should have a little bit more RPMs to it. Might have to adjust it. If you do, it would be the high end and you would turn it, it sounds like clockwise to rev it up, possibly counterclockwise, but just very little. All right, guys, this helped you out in any way, shape or form. Give me that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Um, all the parts again will be in the description below. Uh, today's t-shirt will be in the description below as well. If you want to do any advertising through my channel, message me. I'll be more than happy to. Peace.